In this lecture, I will consider the document similarity measures. We can divide the document similarity measures into three different categories. First is knowledge based word semantic similarity. Second is purpose based measure of semantic similarity. And third is explicit semantic analysis. In knowledge based word semantic similarity, we will cover the shortest path similarity, Likok, Kodrov similarity, Lesk similarity, U Palmer and similarity matrix, and Resnick information content based measure, measure introduced by Lin, Jian, and Forest based measure of similarity, and Trist and Wong's measure of similarity, purpose-based similarity measure. I will basically cover point-wise measure information, normalized Google distance, uh, similarity distance. So first, we will start with the use of semantic similarity. The starting is the text similarity. What is the use of uh, different similarity measures, especially text to text similarity? It's used uh, useful in information retrieval, text classification, word change decentralization. Information retrieval means uh, query versus document. Suppose you we have uh, some query like uh, what is document like uh, document clustering. You want to know about document clustering, then we can fire such query, and uh, we can use the semantic measures to rank the documents which are most suitable for document clustering. Text classification. Here uh, we can use the similarity measures to check whether the documents uh, are suitable for any category or not. In word sense disambiguation, whether the word, given word, which may be similar, whether it fits to a certain context or not. Automatic evaluation. We can use semantic similarity for automatic evaluation of summary or like that. Uh, machine translation, we can check uh, by using similarity measures, we can check whether uh, it matches with the uh, gold standard or with uh, generated summary or not. And in text summarization, we can use the uh, similarity measures to get uh, our semantic score. In generating summary also, and uh, in identifying the duplicate but different words also. Or similar words also. And word based similarity, word can be similar like uh, if they mean same thing like synonyms, antonyms, if they mean the opposite, if they are used in the same way like to represent just color, not particular color. They are used in the same context like doctor, hospital, or a scalpel. One is the type of other, like type of similarity, like poodle, dog, mammal, etc. Now, the issue is how to calculate the semantic similarity. The best known technique which uses the knowledge base. This is highly used technique, but based on some human developed knowledge base knowledge base uh, like uh, wikipedia annotated resources like word nest word net large text corpus is used to achieve such kind of semantic similarity at a starting we identify the relationship among words and on any given document with the help of the above discussed resources and then apply some metric or produce the to calculate the semantic relations between word pairs. For example, suppose if for a given text we just identify 
the relation among the words of the given text by using word name for example fish an animal mammal is part of animal reptile is a part of animal amphibian is also a part of animal again horse is a part of mammal cat is an example of mammal mare and stallion is a type of horse like that so the first part of such uh, system is to use the word net or some annotated knowledge base to identify the relation among the words in the given document and by using such it prepares the hierarchy or graph sometimes it uses uh, just creates just hierarchy of relation to show the relations among the words in the given document or sometimes it prepares a graph now the next part is how to use this hierarchy or graph in calculation the word semantic similarity so the first technique is the shortest path similarity it determines the similarity between uh, two words by using shortest path for example to identify the similarity between cat and animal we will just uh, check the shortest path between cat and animal and one divided by shortest path length will be give the similarity score between cat and animal in this equation length is uh, the length of shortest path between two concepts using mode counting includes the uh, in node also the other is uh, likert and contro similarity it is determined as similarity is equal to minus log into Length divided by two into d, where length is the length of the shortest path between two concepts using mode counting, and d is the maximum depth of the taxonomy. For example, here maximum depth suppose it is ten, then d will be ten. Lesk similarity. The Lesk similarity of two concepts is defined as the function of overlap between the corresponding definitions as provided by dictionary. It is based upon the algorithm proposed by Lesk. and solution of word sense dissemination who and palmer based similarity measures metric uh, uh, measures the depth of two given concept in word net taxonomy and uh, the depth of list common submer lcs and combine these figures into a similarity score for example horse and cat it identify the lcs score first and the depth of concept 1 and depth of concept 2 means here it will first uh, depth of concept 1 means uh, depth of horse and depth of cat and then lcs score it will be 2 here by using by calculation we can get the similarity score between uh, here uh, horse and cat measure introduced by restic it returns the information content of the list common submer of two concept in information content of lcs here i information content is minus log pc where pc is the probability of encountering an instance of concept c in a large corpus knowledge based uh, word semantic similarity next is the measure introduced by lin it builds on resnick's measure of similarity and adds the normalization factor consisting of the information content of two input concepts here similarity is equal to 2 into information content of uh, longest common submer divided by information content of concept 1 plus information content of concept 2 similarly slight modification proposed by jing and conrad similarity is equal to 1 divided by information content of concept 1 information content of concept 2 minus 2 into information content of list common submer 
information content of any path probability of encountering instance of concept C in a large corpus means uh, how many times uh, particular longest common summers exist uh, in a document divided by total number of documents Hertz and uh, test for the measure of similarity it determines the similarity strength of a pair of scene sets by detecting the lexical change between the pair in the text using word net hierarchy now the next is the till now we considered only the knowledge based uh, word semantic similarity in which we use the knowledge base like word net etc human annotated knowledge base to identify the relation between words in the given text and based on that relation we identify the similarity among the words or between words of two documents now suppose we don't have uh, such kind of uh, annotated corpus or annotated system then how can we identify the semantic similarity for that uh, we can use the corpus corpus based measure differ from knowledge based method in that uh, they do not require any encoded understanding of either vocabulary or grammar of text language in many of the scenarios where corpus based measure would be advantages robust language specific resources like word net may not be available thus in state of the art corpus based measures may be the only available approach to the corpus based measures in language with scarce resources language with scarce resources initial setting for corpus based measures of semantic similarity it uses the document vector representation of text in n dimensional space where n is the number of unique words in the word in the pair of text each of the two text can be treated as a like treated like a vector in this n dimensional space the distance between two vectors is an indication of similarity of two text now first we will understand what type of representation it uses it uses a document vector representation of the corpus so to achieve the similarity in this case we first represent suppose we use wikipedia article then we represent every wikipedia document as a row and every unique wikipedia words has a column Here we will store the words W11 and their occurrence frequency W12, their occurrence frequency, and so on. So first we will convert the entire Wikipedia documents in this form, and after that we will apply the corpus-based measure of semantic similarity. So first is the point-wise mutual information (PMI). It it is a common approach. to quantify the relatedness here we will discuss about three ways to measure the term relatedness using point wise mutual information the one is based on the wikipedia base count here point wise mutual information between two terms i and j can be calculated as 
PIJ is a number of Wikipedia article containing both terms n into PIJ n is equal to total number of Wikipedia articles PIJ is equal to number of Wikipedia articles containing both terms i and j PI is equal to number of articles which contains term TI and PJ equal to number of articles which contains term TJ PIJ we can consider it as like uh, here I and J used to represent the term TI and TJ respectively the second is based on the term count in Wikipedia articles it can be calculated with a term count point by mutual information based on term count of term I and J can be calculated as log base 2 into T where T is the number of terms in the Wikipedia and TIJ is equal to number of TI and TJ number of times TI and TJ occurs adjacently, adjacently in Wikipedia and TI is the number of terms TI in the Wikipedia TJ is equal to number of terms TJ in Wikipedia the third one is a combination of five of two pointwise mutual information gates and it is uh, actually more powerful also pointwise mutual information based on combined approach for term i n and j can be calculated as log base to n into n is equal to number of wikipedia article ptij indicates that number of wikipedia articles containing term ti and tj as addition c it is uh, obvious that pointwise uh, mutual information and com combined basis can be give less score but more accurate with respect to pointwise mutual information based on the page count. More strict and accurate for measuring the relatedness. Where PI is equal to number of wikipedia articles which contains term ti pj is equal to number of wikipedia articles which contains term tj to calculate such kind of situations where two terms occurs in addition c means uh, suppose we consider this these are the two terms then we can consider that those two terms occurs in addition c to recognize such kind of terms we can make some change in the representation of wikipedia article here in case of word, we can use the bigram based model means instead of storing just word, we can store all bigrams for example, suppose Wikipedia articles contains word like then we will store like here we will store uh, document D1 contains this type of word sequences then we will use W1, W2 and then in second column we will store W2, W3 and third column W3, W4 by using this we can count such kind of adjacent uh, words of ranges and apply it uh, here now the another corpus based similarity measures is the Google normalized normalized Google similarity distance it is a new measure for similarity measuring similarity between terms proposed by Calibrasi and Vinatai based upon the information distance and Kolmogorov complexity it could be applied to compute the term similarity from world wide web or any other large enough corpus by using base count of the terms this is important part actually Google distance is the semantic similarity measure derived from number of hits returned by the Google search engine for any given set of keywords keywords with the same or similar meaning in natural language sense tends to be too close in the unit of google distance while words with dissimilar meanings tend to be further apart according to normalized google distance normalized google distance between two terms x and y can be calculated as maximum of log fx here fx and fy are the number of hits for such term 
x and y respectively and uh, fxy is the number of web pages on which both x and y occurs so maximum of log fx log fy minus log j xy here we can use uh, f also log m m is the total number of web page searched by the google and minimum of log fx and log fy if the two search terms x and y never occur together in the same web page but do occur separately the normalized google distance between them is infinite if both terms always occur together the normalized google distance is zero or equivalent to the coefficient between x squared by y x squared and y squared now the corpus based measure of semantic similarity another example that i already discussed is a cosine similarity how to calculate the cosine similarity measures between two terms suppose term 1 contains or document 1 contains two times double word word three times word two and five times word three document contains uh, three times word one seven times word two and one times word three then cos theta will be equal to how we can calculate this there are two techniques first uh, by using uh, this and one simpler version is to calculate the root of precision into recall this will be equal to Suppose uh, this will be equivalent to or equal to T1 intersection this will be equal to T1 intersection T2 divided by root under T1 into root under t2 Now after calculation we can easily identify that uh, T1 intersection T2 will be equal to how many terms are common 2, 3 and 1. So this will be equal to divided by cardinality of T1 into cardinality of T2 and uh, this will be equal to zero point six seven five eight. Now cosine similarity example, so suppose there are two documents, 
and we have to calculate the cosine similarity between two documents. The in documents D1 contains uh, Gilbert three times, Hurricane two times. Here contains uh, Gilbert two times, but Hurricane one times. Document D1 contains rains one time, rain zero times, storm two, storm one, like that. For a selected terms, we are not considering all terms. We just uh, use some selected highlighted terms. Then cosine similarity will be equal to like that. Now the another thing is explicit semantic analysis. It determines the extent to which each word is associated to every concept of Wikipedia by term frequency or some other methods. For a text, sum up the associated concept vectors. For composite text concept vectors, it compares uh, compares the text using the standard cosine similarity or other vector similarity measure. Advantage the vectors can be analyzed and picked because they are closely tied to Wikipedia concepts. An example and system setup to calculate the explicit semantic relatedness is four. I referred this from here. First, uh, building a semantic interpreter, Wikipedia articles, uh, build a weighted inverted index. These are the words and weighted list of concept of Wikipedia articles weighted inverted index. Now we have two text, text 1 and text 2, semantic interpreters, weighted vector of Wikipedia concepts, vector comparison and relatedness estimation. Means here we totally depends upon the Wikipedia terms relations in Wikipedia to calculate the semantic similarity between two text documents. So sometimes uh, it may not be very local for any documents and may misguide us, may misguide in some cases.